Hello everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Kenny and I am one of the soap makers on this channel. A couple of notes, especially if you haven't seen our last video, we got a new camera and we got new mics and I think that we made things a little bit confusing. So let me clear up some of the confusion. So for one, we made a few of the videos this month using the camera's mic, which sounds awful. So the last compounding, whenever we were mixing up the oils and stuff in the last video, that was not using our new mics. That was using the old one and it whenever I was listening through it the transition is hard to fathom but anyway I appreciate all of the comments about the quality and about the lighting and everything we're totally still working on it we're just a brother and a sister uh, hanging out in in the sister's house and we don't know what we're doing we don't know how to set up lighting or cameras or anything and honestly we're not too worried about it we're just trying to make it so that you can enjoy these videos without the distraction of a bad camera or or a bad mic. We're just trying to get rid of that, that's all. We don't want to change, okay? You see what I mean? But enough about that uninteresting stuff. Today, I'm going to be making another soap, which is part of our drink month collection. So whenever Katie mentioned drinks, I immediately was like, my favorite thing to drink is a smoothie. And the best kind of smoothie is a blueberry smoothie. But I wanted to spice up the flavor a little bit. So I decided to mix it together and make a pomegranate and blueberry smoothie. And we have the coolest blueberry embeds anyway. So the plan was a go. And yes, uh, pardon my, my hair and my facial hair. Uh, I'm just playing around with the facial hair. Don't worry, this will be gone. <laughs> this will be gone before VidCon, but I was just playing around and I ended up looking like a 40-year-old man or like my dad circa 2003. <laughs> but I'm rambling on. We should just get to the soap making. The first thing I'm going to do is add the lye into these base oils. By mixing these together, we will make soap. To get that saponification process started, I'm going to blend these two things together. All right, now we have reached what we call light trace. So the lye and the oils are adequately mixed together. Got to whippity wipity my blender head. Now I'm going to pour off half of this into another container. Then we can mix in those colors. Dang, that's a horrible sound. Inquiab. All right, now that we have the soap split into our two containers, our first color today is Voodoo by Mad Micas. And the second one is Blue Tide, also by Mad Micas. As you know, it is a pomegranate and blueberry. So I wanted to just make a swirl in the center with colors to reflect those delicious fragrances. Now for the blue. Now I'm gonna quickly blend in these colors. It worked. Our fragrance oil today is Pomegranate by Crafter's Choice. This smells so much like delicious pomegranate candy. It is a loud and delicious fragrance that will match these loud and delicious colors. All right, now that we've got our fragrance oil well mixed in, it is time to grab our brem. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a messy boy. It's time to do a swirl, an ITP in the pot swirl. Just swirl it around like so. And now we got to scrapey, scrapey out our containy. Mm -mm -mm. Those colors. I think this is going to look fabulous. Now that we've got our swirl, it's time to grab our brambleberry molds. We're just gonna pour this off into our mold. With the drop swirls, you always try to make sure that you get both colors all over it. Cause no matter what you do, those colors gravitate to one side of the container. So it takes just a little extra maneuvering. Mmm, it smells so good. It's starting to smell like a candy shop in here. Whoa, whoa, the sweetest thing. 
Do we support you two on this chain? Uh, yes. Yet another round of scrapey scrapey. Mmm, these colors are pop pop popping. It's got a little right on there. Just like that. I'm gonna bang these on the ground, both for air bubbles and for smoothness. All right, this base is looking fantastic. I'm so excited. Now it is time for us to mix up our soap frosting. All right, we've got our piping bag all loaded up. I don't know if you can see them right now, but I have put in some blueberry seeds to give it a truly smoothie look. I'm using a round tip that is in the Royalty Soaps piping set. I wanted to use a round one for this one because I want it to look like a real smoothie. I'm kind of hungry now. Pomegranates are honestly the best fruit ever. They take so long to pull all of those little seeds out, but it is the most satisfying fruit peel procedure you can ever have. But they are rather expensive. So we rarely got them as children and they were a real treat. Besides a pomegranate smoothie, does remind me a little bit of a drink that we got at Disney. I think it was a blueberry mint julep, but it had had a similar color and it was so delicious. I believe that you'll be able to see that on our Disney vlog that will be coming out very soon on this very channel. Oh boy, I'll tell you what, there are some delicious drinks coming up this month. This is such a fun month. I just now realized that I've actually been doing a lot of round tip piping recently. It's just my new thing. Now I'm just gonna put a tiny little dollop on top so that it has a rounded appearance, like a real smoothie. The strain. Come on. Yeah. For <laughs> Oof, my back! This is a tiny table that we're working on. Look at this thing. It makes me look like a giant. Anywho, let's put on some straws. All right. These paper straws do remind me of whenever our family went to Disneyland and I realized that they were using paper straws in almost all of their drinks. Admittedly, I had actually never seen that before. And they performed really, really well. I was actually surprised. And they had a delicious strawberry smoothie that honestly, it tasted like they had just ground up a gigantic strawberry and you were just drinking solid strawberry. Berry, berry, straw, 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 strawberry, berry, berry. I know that Katie recently got some stainless steel straws for her own personal use while she's out and about. And that is one of the wonderful things about caring about the environment and making steps towards helping is that all of the people around you are influenced like myself. Now I'm going to have to buy myself some metal straws. Each little thing Thing that we do does make an impact, even if it's infinitesimally small. Baby steps out the door. Baby steps to a better world. Mmm. There we go. Have you ever saw such a wonderful straw? As I've mentioned before, it is better to think while you are putting in embeds about your packaging. Cause some of these straws are sticking up and are gonna bust straight through that poor shrink wrap. Mmm mm mm mm. Yes, yes, yes. Look at all of these blueberry embeds that were made by my sister, the empress of embeds, Shelly herself. These look real. Every single bar is going to get three whole blueberries. One just beneath the straw and then another two on the other side. This really tops it off as a beautiful garnish for your pomegranate uh, smoothie. Smoothly. Your, your pomegranate smoothie. I think I already mentioned it, but this soap is making me hungry and I hope that you can't hear my stomach growling. I will admit it is darn hard to put in these embeds. They're so slippery. So we're gonna put one embed on each dollop. This is going to take forever. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to need a chiropractic adjustment after standing over this little baby table. It's a table for babies. I'm a grown man and I don't need a baby table to crack my back in half. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody loves the tape here. I've just been thinking about Ze Frank a lot lately. I don't know if I've mentioned it anywhere before, but I'm actually going to get to see the legendary Ze Frank. I won the lottery for a creator chat and I had overwhelmingly picked him. The man, the myth, 
the legend. Maybe he can give me some pointers on voice acting. Who knows? What are you moaning about? True facts about the blueberries. These small round fruits taste delicious if consumed. If you try to drink blueberry juice, you are sure to be disappointed. Do you agree with that, Caleb? I don't know what blueberry juice tastes like. Spin them 360. It's a shaky table. Did you see that straw sneak under here? <laughs> it's a shaky. Where'd it go? Well, it's gone forever. We're almost done. Oh my goodness. This reminds me just a little bit, just this tedious motion of adding 1 billion blueberries of whenever I was younger and I made stop motion animations with my Lego collection and crappy webcam. And my dad was so impressed that I had the patience to do it <laughs> because he was like I could never do that frame by frame. I'm proud of you soon. I specifically had a ton of Star Wars Legos and I made a reenactment of the Death Star scene as best I could approximate and my parents were so proud that they forced me to show my horrible video to all of their friends. I did Leia's voice myself. Whenever I first started designing soaps I would sometimes ask myself whether I should put glitter but no longer do I I ask that. I know it's always necessary. We will add just a delicate sprinkle of hollow glitter. My personal favorite. Except for those specialty glitters. Those can really make a pop, but I don't think that we have any appropriate ones for such a soap. Hollow is a great all-purpose. Don't mind me, I'm just in my sister's house making fabulous shiny soap with my brother-in-law. That is looking amazing. Let's go for a close up. Wow, we look at this soap. I am so pleased with how all of that little army of blueberries looks. I cannot wait to see what that middle looks like. So we are going to come back after 18 to 24 hours and we will chop up this soap and take a look at the inside right after this quick commercial break. All right, you're done. Burner, and we are back to chippity choppity or sippity soapity. After, did I say 18 hours? Did I say that? I think it's been two days. Regardless of how long it took, now is the time to cut it. <laughs> Just gotta line it up on Evangeline here. Evangeline is the name that we gave to the purple chopper, or I should say Katie gave to the purple chopper. And Kermit is the green one, but we have stolen Evangeline from the other soap shack that we have out back because because we're trying to make it real easy for Katie to film with all these baby children that she's got in her house. She's got to be able to film more conveniently and tromping out there all the time. Ain't doing it for mama. We'll just line it up as best we can and push down. Uh, I was going to say gently, but I'm going to say you got to push down hard. Bodybuilders, body lifters, listen up. You want to work out your muscles and your skills? Do some soap cutting. Aha, that twang means that we made it through. Man, this soap's a real champion. I tell you what, this soap's strong. We, we stand for strong soap. Oh, let's take a look at the inside. What's it gonna, ooh, that's popping. That's popping right there. I'm really pleased with that color. I was worried that it was gonna mix together and make a crummy purple color, but it actually looks good. Now, let me zoom in by hand. There we go, perfect. Oh yeah, the top of that bar is looking mighty realistic. And look, look, look at that shimmer. You can see the lights reflecting off of it. That's quality soap right there. Hi, ah, the soap is a mirror. Oh yeah, check out those sweet colors, my man. Very nice. I'm really pleased with those. Those are really popping colors. And you gotta love those seeds in the top. It's a little bit subtle, but man, it makes an impact on the overall bar. So I've got a really goofy question of the day for you that will be easier for some rather than others. But the question is, would you rather only have one eyebrow or would you rather dye your hair green for the rest of your life? Now I get it. People are going to say, my hair's green right now. No, no. I mean forever. You never get another color. I'm sure that you want to try out other colors, don't you? Well, too bad. You only get one color of your hair forever. That is pretty tricky. I think I would have to personally go with the dyed hair, but I don't know. What do you think? So what's it going to be? Dye your hair green forever or uh, what was the other? We're shave an eyebrow off forever. Click the eye in the upper right hand corner if you want to vote. And why wouldn't you? So what do y'all think about that soap? I am super pleased with how this bar turned out. The colors 
are popping, but something that I did not anticipate is that I think that the fragrance oil took the colors down just a notch and it ended up making it look a lot more elegant and a lot more realistic. The piping looks exactly like a pomegranate blueberry smoothie. I made this soap again and I almost tried to eat some of the piping because it really does look like it. And it smells so good. Also the day that I made this, Katie walked in the studio and she was like, what is that? smell. That smells so good. And I was like, that's my pomegranate. Also worth noting, if you want to see more of my interesting hair, you could go check out my personal channel where I'll be opening Pokemon cards and toys and building Legos and other related activities. Anime stuff, you know what I'm saying? Well, I hope that you enjoyed me making this soap here. Yeah. I certainly enjoyed making it with y'all. And as we always say, before we go, you be sure to do something fun for yourself, whether it is making a pomegranate blueberry smoothie or just a blueberry smoothie, which is what I normally do. Maybe add some strawberries, maybe put in some, some soy milk or something, almond milk. Or if you really want to stick with pomegranates, but you don't want to make a smoothie, you could buy a pomegranate and you could just pick out all those little seeds. I can't tell if picking out pomegranate seeds is satisfying or if it's disgusting because every time that I see a pomegranate, half of me wants to pick out every little bit and eat it and half of it makes me want to smash it with a hammer so that all of the holes disappear. I don't remember what that phobia is called, but I kind of have it. Anyway, whatever you do, I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. I'm not sure how we're gonna do that nyam thing anymore, but I'm just gonna try this. Nyam! Welcome to royaltywood.net. Wood. It's in every wall of every house. What's not in every wall is a quality artisan bar of soap. Available only at RoyaltySoaps.com. Wash your body with a kingly slash princely bar. Very nice. Another quality video. Good thing the camera quality is so high you can see every pore in my face. Oh.